Hey guys, I'm Tim. Welcome to Troops. That's Tim's reviews of outdoor basketball shoes. Check us out on YouTube. This is a little intro video. I really like shoes. I've got the t-shirt to prove it. And I play a lot of basketball, so I'm particularly interested in basketball shoes. And one of the first pairs of performance basketball shoes that I bought was these. These are not the Kobe 5 Pro Tros, which are meant to be coming out this NBA season. These are actually the OG Kobe 5s. Uh, one of my favorite basketball shoes of all time. Bought these in maybe 2007 or 2008 for about $160. Now, I play basketball outdoors quite a lot on courts that look like this. Uh, pretty rough concrete. Um, a lot of wear and tear on the soles of your shoes and also the uppers. So I bought these, took them outdoors, and within a couple of weeks, the soles looked like that. So you can see that traction wore down pretty quick. That's playing maybe four or five times a week. Now for comparison, I have a pair of basically dead stock Kobe 5s. These are the invisibility cloaks. Yeah, wore these once or twice indoors. And you can see the traction pattern here is what the shoe should look like. And this traction pattern is so smooth that there was basically no grip on a basketball court by the time they got to this stage. Really nice pair of shoes. So I realized if I were to keep playing in these, uh, they would have been trash and that was a bit of a bummer. I had to relegate them to the casual corner of my wardrobe. And then the next year, because I'm a slow learner, I bought these. Pretty sure these are going to pro tro in 2020. These are the Kobe Sixes. Uh, a lot of people think the Sixes are the best of the Kobe line. But personally, I think the Fives and the Eights are probably better. But I love this this particular model. I uh, have quite a few colorways of these as well. Took these outdoors again, and that traction was even worse than the Fives. You can see that is completely smooth. And I put them in that same casual corner. So I was starting to learn pretty quick that performance basketball shoes, especially from the big brands, Nike, Adidas, Jordan, they are designed for the sorts of conditions professional basketball players play on. Indoors, wooden floors, nicely polished, pretty forgiving on the traction and the uppers of your shoes. I realized I either needed outdoor specific basketball shoes, which the big brands don't make many of anymore, or shoes which were cheap enough that I could afford to cycle through pairs a lot quicker uh, than if I were playing exclusively indoors. And eventually that search for shoes which fit either or both of those categories took me to the China brands, uh, which I have represented here. Great thing about a lot of basketball shoes made in China is that they are often made for outdoor players. A lot of basketball in China is played outdoors. And in addition to often being designed for outdoors, which these three are, uh, Chinese basketball shoes can often be found for pretty incredibly cheap prices. So this is an outdoor specific shoe. You can see from the traction there, it's nice and thick. Um, and it's made by Leaning. Leaning, as you might know, um, has Dwayne Wade as one of the main signed players. Wade had his own line with them. I think he still does actually, the Way of Wade series. Pretty good signature series. Um, these are from Anta. And they are actually Clay Thompson's, you can see the logo there on the tongue. Clay Thompson's outdoor signature. So again, really nice traction. This is probably one of my favorite pairs of basketball shoes to play in outdoors, or even indoors for that matter. I love this pair. Um, these are from a brand called 361 Degrees. Uh, not as well known, probably, but they make excellent running shoes. They also used to sponsor Kevin Love, but that sponsorship deal came to an end. These are not designed for outdoors. 
But again, they have really durable rubber on that traction pattern and I haven't tested them yet, but I think they'll work pretty well. These are actually um, a signature model of Stefan Marbury. You can see the Starbury logo there. Some of you might remember him. He used to play for the Knicks before he went psycho. But after the NBA, he went to China and had a great career there. 361 degrees. And lastly, these are Peaks. Peak is quite a known brand in the basketball um, sphere. Currently, Peak sponsors Lou Williams. Uh, Tony Parker had a long running signature series with them as well. And they make pretty good shoes. They also have sponsorship deals with FIBA, um, so they're big on the international market as well. So, outdoor specific shoes. These will work pretty well outdoors as well. That fits that first category. And then the second category, price. These can be had for about $30. I paid $26 for these. These are the most expensive, but probably my favorite of the bunch. At $40, still a bargain. And these were $22. Now that's all in Aussie dollars. So if you're in America or Canada or even Singapore or something, convert that and it'll be even cheaper. And all of those prices I mentioned include shipping. So, I mean, when you compare that to the $160 Kobe's that lasted under two months at best outdoors, these, you can understand why I've been gravitating towards these China brands. So that fills you in on where I'm up to in my um, search for the perfect outdoor basketball shoe. I have currently, I think, 12 different models from each of these brands, which I have either tested or I'm in the process of testing. And I hope to do reviews on all of those in the near future. I also hope to be able to share with you guys some of the tips and tricks I've learned for hunting down the best possible deals when you're buying from some of the websites that help supply international customers with all of these Chinese brands. So that's Troops, that's the introduction. Um, more to come. Thanks guys.